Doing anything, we're freezing cold and starving. I don't feel good. I don't think we fully understand what we got ourselves into yet. We're starting on the coast of California and we live across the country in South Carolina. Me and my brother Colby have been preparing for this trip for months, and at first it was all excitement. Look at those mountains! This is what I'm talking about. This is why we want to do this. We get to see everything. The California mountains were beautiful, and although the climb was rough, we felt prepared for anything. We climbed from all the way down there. Altitude's 1,400 feet. We started at sea level. But here's the thing about doing something you've never done before. There are always surprises. Okay, look out! The shoulder got so small that I was ran off the road. And although I got scratched up pretty bad, I was very lucky I didn't fall the other way. We're gonna try and regroup. These mountains are just incredibly dangerous. These cars are going 70 miles per hour. This is not something our dad would want. Not only did my dad teach me and my brother how to ride a bike, but it's something that we all loved doing together almost every single day. And recently, our dad has only wanted one thing, his own electric bike. And he was about to get one, at least until he had his crash. He had a severe concussion, broke his collarbone, ripped his shoulder in three places, and took nearly a year to heal. So me and my brother teamed up with Juice Bikes to get these top-of-the-line e-bikes. And what our dad doesn't know is that this one is for him. And to give our dad his bike, we have to make it back home. And mile after mile, hour after hour, the traffic was relentless. Literally nowhere to go. Taking cover from behind the bushes, we would wait for an opportunity and pedal as fast as we could. Go, 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 go! Pedal as fast as you can! I'm trying! It doesn't look like it, but these cars are going 60 miles per hour. One mistake could get us hit by a car or throw us off a cliff. Ow. And when we finally got off the high traffic roads, it was a brutal climb all the way up to 4,200 feet. But then, something amazing happened. Colby! After five hours of riding, I think I see the top of the mountain. We climbed to the highest point. Which could only mean awesome. one thing. We were able to descend out of the mountains into the beautiful desert. Dude, the sun's out! And being out of these mountains definitely called for a celebration. Peanut butter jelly time! And finally, after 12 hours of riding and 2,490 miles to go, we completed day one. One part of me was happy to have survived, while the other realized we still have thousands of miles to go. Over the last couple days, we've made an insane amount of progress. And ever since the mountains, nothing has gone wrong, so we're gonna keep hoping for the best. At this rate, we'll be able to get this bike to our dad soon. Woo, 50 miles! 50 miles! Nothing but rocks and dirt. But hey, at least there's no traffic. It was nice to just slow down and enjoy the ride for once. We've been going on this dirt road for about 20 miles. But after a while, the dirt road conditions started to get worse, and we wanted to know if there was another way. And by some stroke of luck, this guy was just sitting on the side of the trail. Excuse me. I would say your best bet is take the freeway. Yeah, this, we're just going to go for it. That's the most direct route. All, All right, right, man. Well, we appreciate it. OK. Let's Good go. luck. Thanks. OK, I'm sorry, but this is so much better than gravel. But a couple hours later, an unexpected problem started to form. I think we're about to get rained on! And with our luck, while we were in the desert, it didn't just rain, it downpoured. We have to cover everything where it won't get wet. Everything from food to camera gear to batteries were in those bags. If they got too wet, our trip would literally be... Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the bike battery. This is gotta be the worst day ever. The freaking bike there just fell off the bike. So, so everything is so good. So good. Our original plan was to pull off the interstate onto this exit to see if there's something we could take cover in. There is absolutely nothing out here. We, we gotta keep going. We have to keep the bike dead. Go all the way off here. Phoenix Arizona, baby. This situation made us realize just how dangerous this trip is. If something were to happen and we get stuck out here, there's no calling for help, there's no walking, and eventually we'd freeze in the cold. With no other option, we put our heads down and headed towards Phoenix. We're freezing. This is like the waterproof. Only about 50 more miles to Phoenix. Uh. We're still soaking wet. 
<laughs> so we're and and we stink really really bad that water did not help anything so we're gonna get some more clothes dude 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 we got to represent Arizona. We got to find some Arizona shirts. By the next morning, our clothes looked awesome and the weather cleared up. You ready to get rolling, dude? 140 miles a day. Let's go to New Mexico, baby. All right, New Mexico. So we headed out early in the morning, but somewhere along the way, we couldn't help but notice tons of cactuses around us. Okay, so here's the crazy thing about this, this cactus. If you knock one of these things down, you can get up to 25 years in prison, apparently. They grow like three centimeters a year, which means a 20 foot cactus could be up to 200 years old. And this one is about 10 feet, so it's probably about 100 years old. It's insane. But because we were taking our time, we weren't making a lot of progress. Dude, something tells me we shouldn't have spent so much time looking at cactuses. Yeah, you're probably right. We have like 40 miles left till our hotel. And we're in New Mexico now. Once again, we were in the middle of nowhere without any cell service. The only difference is now it's nighttime. Oh, there's all kinds of stickers on here, dude. Are those bullet hole stickers? <laughs> I hope not. Seriously, I think they're bullet hole stickers. Oh, no. Being two and a half hours away from our hotel this late at night was not what we wanted. Especially because on this road, cars are going 70 miles per hour, and even though we had lights, we were virtually invisible to them. Oh, sh**. He almost freaking hit me, dude. You okay? This is what I'm talking about. This is why we can't be out here at night, dude. We need, we need, we need to set the tent. We can't do another 30 miles of this. Set up the tent. We had no choice but to pull over on the side of the road and set up our tent there. We actually never intended to use this tent. Camping in the desert, especially on the side of the road, is probably one of the most dangerous things you can do. I didn't really think it'd come to this. Nope. But here we are. See, see the problem is, we didn't buy any sleeping bags because we didn't think we'd be doing this. And as I laid down to get ready for sleep, we were once again reminded that camping on the road was not a good idea. Dude, do you hear that? Some dude literally getting arrested right there. This is about to be the longest night in our lives. With eight hours until the sun came up, we decided the best idea was just to go to sleep. We should probably take a shift staying awake. Okay, I'll stay awake first. Dude, Bobby, it's time to go, dude. It's bright outside. We made it. It was sketchy. We were very happy to have made it through the night, but we had to get home to give our dad his e-bike. The problem was, we still had 2,000 miles to go. So we had to get moving. Texas! We made it to Texas! It's so funny because our dad has wanted this exact bike for years now. And after his crash, he had to take all the money he was saving for the bike and put it towards surgery. And over the next 10 days, Colby and I only stopped for food, hotels, and the occasional laundromat. By this point, we were averaging over 200 miles a day. Today we've ridden over 200 miles to get to this state. My legs are toast. Louisiana! 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 Traveling in the east was amazing because we weren't constantly worried about being stranded in the middle of nowhere. Not to mention, there were no mountains, at least until we went north. We've been freezing all day and now it's even worse because it's actually snowing. We're about 4,000 feet in the air right now. We need to get off this, this mountain before the roads freeze. It is literally so cold! I can't feel my hands! Oh, I'm, I am, I'm in shorts! I'm in shorts! Why am I in shorts? <laughs> For the last couple weeks, we hadn't ran into any trouble. We thought the worst is behind us, but then something like this happens. It probably hasn't been that long for you, but for us, we've been doing this for over a month now. We're ready to be home. Um, I'm sorry guys, I'm, we're not gonna film this. We're gonna pull into our hotel and be done for tonight. I'm not going to laundromat, not doing anything. We're freezing cold and starving. Even though we are so close to home, we were forced to stay at our hotel for days because of the snow. Second night here, we're still totally snowed in. We were trapped and it was hard to stay positive. Jay. Wake up. The snow's melting. Huh? The snow's melting. But here's the thing to remember. A lot of times, you'll encounter the most resistance right before you've made it out of the tunnel. The only thing keeping me going is seeing my dad's reaction to his bike. It's almost as if you're being tested to see how much you really want it. We're so close! 
Oh my god, it's South Carolina. But what I've learned is if you make the decision to keep going right when you want to quit, you will succeed. We're home. We rode from San Diego. It's time to give her dad this bike. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Just a moment. I'm so nervous. Go get him, bro. Dad, What's we that? have a surprise for you. We love you, dude. Really? <laughs> yeah. We drove what? this across the country for you. No, no, that's crazy. Really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to describe how amazing it felt to give my dad this bike, but I do know one thing. This was possible because of you. Our channel's been blowing up like crazy, and it means the world that you want to be a part of it. Oh my god. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video. <laughs> oh, let's go for a ride. <laughs> <laughs>